there guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up Survivor's Beta on your Mac. So the first step in getting Survivor's Beta on your Mac is getting these two things here on your desktop. So what we have is Wineskin Winery and Survivor's Beta 3.zip. So to get these files, you're going to go to these two sites in the description. Uh, this is the Wineskin, Wineskin site and here you can just download Wineskin Winery. It's for Snow Leopard, Lion, and Mountain Lion. You just click here to download it. Once you have that, you're going to want to go to the other link I have in the description and download Survivor's Beta 3.zip. Uh, this is just a random link. Uh, it's a media file link. Just download it, and it should come up with a .zip file, which you can then drag out onto your desktop. Although you don't need to do this on your desktop. You can do it wherever you want in any Finder window. So the next step is going to be setting up Wineskin. So to do that, you're going to open up your Wineskin Winery app and you might notice that you don't have any installed engines and you can't click the create new blank wrapper button so to set this up to begin with you're going to want to install an engine and to do this you click on the addition sign here choose the latest engine which in this case is the WS9 Wine 1.5.23 AMD speed hack click on that and click on download and install so I already have this engine installed, so I'm not going to do this, but it should just install the engine um, and maybe some other things like uh, a program called Gecko and some mono frameworks, but that all needs to happen for this process to work, so just let that through. The next step, uh, now that you have your engine installed, the next step is going to be going down here to where it says wrapper version. Uh, you may notice that it says wineskin-2.5.8 and you can click on the update button. I can't because I'm currently up updated to this version. Even though it might say this for you, you still have to click the update button so that the OneScan Winery will actually update. Once this is done, you need to... Once this is done, you might have noticed that the Create New Blank Wrapper button is now uh, able to be clicked on. So the next step is going to be clicking on Create New Blank Wrapper down here at the bottom and naming your app. So in this case, Survivors, Survivors Beta, and yes, it's spelled with an E, that's just how the name of the game works. So this might take a minute or two, but all it's going to do is set up your wrapper. And at some point, you're going to see something pop up that says, do you want the application Wineskin X11 to accept incoming network connections? And what you're going to want to do is just press Allow here, and that's just going to let it download what it needs to to set up this wrapper. Now after the wrapper is finished, you're going to get something pop up that says wrapper creation finished and it's going to give you two options, OK and view wrapper and finder. Uh, you're going to want to click view wrapper and finder and it will open up the finder window here. I already have a few uh, wrappers already made from before, but uh, you're just going to want to drag the one that you just made out onto your desktop or wherever else you might have saved the files. Okay. So now you can exit out of that finder window and drag your wineskin winery out of the way or just exit it out. You won't need that anymore. So the next step is going to be unzipping your survivor's beta 3.zip. You can use the unarchiver or uh, the other uh, some other software that comes on uh, Apple or Mac computers when you buy them. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And when you open this up, you should see that it has a data package and the .exe file for the game. So now you're going to want to click on the Survivor's Beta Wrapper. I'll just move that up here. Click on this and it should open up a wineskin window. The first step here is going to be clicking on Set Screen Options and Unchecking Decorate Windows. Now click Done and go to Advanced. From here you want to click on Install Software on the bottom left hand corner and go to Choose Setup Executable on the upper left hand corner. This should open up a Finder window here and you're going to want to go and go to wherever you have the folder for the Survivors 3 beta. Uh, for me, it's on my desktop, and you're going to want to select that .exe file. So I'll show you here, scrolling down, and there's Survivors Beta 3. Click on this, click open it up, click on Survivors Beta 3.exe, and click Choose. Now, OneSkin, it's going to pop up saying OneSkin is currently busy, please wait. Uh, this will just take a second, and it will open up the window for the game. So as you can see here, this is it. You can set your screen resolution, graphics quality, windowed, unwindowed, uh, your input for your different controls. I would recommend changing this because 
Uh, when you are playing with the standard controls, it's a fight between your mouse and some of the keys. Uh, you'll understand if you do try and play it. So from here, you can just click on play and go and do whatever you want with the game. Or if you want to make it so that every time you click on that wrapper, it opens up the game, you're going to want to click quit. Uh, it'll say once and it's currently busy, but you don't need to worry about that. All you can do is click on OK when this shows up, cancel, and now the next step is going to be dragging this out of the way and right-clicking on your Survivor's Beta wrapper. Click on Show Package Contents. And you should have a Find a Window coming up. Uh, for this uh, wrapper with contents, drive C, and wineskin in it. You're going to want to click on drive C and click on program files here. Now you're going to want to go and wherever you have that survivor's beta, I'll just clear this off here so you guys can see it a little better. Wherever you have that survivor's beta, I have it on my desktop, so I'm just going to drag the survivor's beta 3 folder out into program files. It doesn't have to be in program files, it just has to be somewhere in C drive, but it's more organized if you just drop it off into program files, especially if you're going to be installing multiple things with OneSkin Winery, it's better just to drop them all in here and then have it nice and organized. So now you don't need this finder window anymore and you can exit this out. Uh, ignore this OneSkin is currently busy, please wait. It's not going to really do anything for you for now. And you're going to want to reopen your OneSkin advanced window here. Now you're going to want to go to where it says Windows EXE, uh, where it says nothing.exe, and click on Browse. And now that you're back in your C drive or drive C here, you click on Program Files, click on Survivors Beta 3. And now you're going to select that Survivors Beta 3.exe. And again, this is wherever it was in Program Files. Just select the Survivors Beta 3.exe, and remember it has to be in your drive C. So now that this is set up, you're set to play the game. You can just exit out of this window here and click on the wrapper to open up the game. There are some times where you'll click on it and it will close itself uh, when you open it, but then you can just click on it again and it'll work fine. Uh, it's just wineskin doing its thing. So as you can see here, game opens up, you can click play, it'll open up a window, uh, you can change how big this is as you guys saw earlier. And it's pretty simple, uh, you click on start and server if you just want to play by yourself and click on start session. Just show you guys what the game looks like here. So collect 11 lists. And yes, yeah, so this is the game. Uh, it's not too laggy. It's a little laggy on my computer, but you can do a lot with this game. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't be afraid to hit that like button and subscribe if you're interested. I'm going to be posting another video on how to set up multiplayer for this game pretty soon. So be sure to check out my channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.